All right, so in today's video, I am just gonna be showing you guys a quick look at my bedroom system. I do have videos on this on my channel already. However, I do get quite a few comments of people asking, what do I have in my bedroom? So I thought I'd just make an up-to-date video to explain to you guys what I have in here. And man, I can instantly hear in this room compared to my other room, just talking. The echo is so much quieter because I have acoustic treatment on this front wall here and also the back wall here behind my bed. Of course, it is very hard to focus on black um, stuff on the wall and I, it's just that it, that's how it is. So basically, in today's video, I'm just gonna walk you through uh, basically the system in here. And as you can see, it's a 2.2 system, two towers, two subs. This is where the Dayton's belong. This is where they've always belong. This is where I use them the most. And they perform absolutely awesome in here with the ribbon tweeter, the woofer, the acoustic treatment in here really allows me to get quite a fair amount of volume out of this tweeter without it becoming overly harsh or anything like that. So, all right, so for receiver down there, I have a Kenwood RK701. It is a very, very non-powerful amplifier. It pushes about 14 watts channel clean, which is actually ample for this room because the majority of listening I do is at nighttime when I'm trying not to wake anyone else up. So that is good for that. It serves its purpose fine. I only really need a few watts in here per channel to have adequate volume for what I need it for. Uh, it has really low harmonic distortion. It's like 0.007 or something percent, which is ridiculous compared to my Sony, which is 0.9 in the other room. Um, but it's just a great little receiver. Uh, tons of tuning options, like as far as it has a built-in seven band EQ and then it has a another eq for just like overall bass and treble which just just ruins it it's one of those big boosting ones and then it's also got another bass <laughs> it's got so many things you can have ridiculous amounts of bass pushing through this thing it's actually crazy i think you can in total boost it like 30 decibels uh below 100 hertz which is ridiculous and you'd never need that but it can do it <laughs> so it's kind of cool like that but anyway in here for subwoofers, I have the Sound 8.6 XD series subs, 12-inch uh, subs on both sides. That one's in a corner. They both had their ports blocked up, so they're actually both sealed instead of ported enclosures, purely because, well, we all know how rear ported subs in corners turn out. They go excessively boomy. Yes, it's loud, but it sounds terrible. And to be quite honest, 99.9% .9 of the time, I never use these subs I uh, only need the towers and the bass that I can get from the towers because these subwoofers actually don't even play as low as the towers do. Let me just pop the grill there. So they are pretty nice looking subs. However, the towers play lower than they do, especially when they're sealed. So for the most part, I just listen to the towers and the bass doesn't travel as far down the house and carry throughout it. So the towers do a great job. Even though they are rear ported, they don't seem to get boomy over in that corner there, which is awesome. But yeah. Mainly just audio source is just an iPad. <laughs> I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, it doesn't run high enough quality files. I know it's literally just streaming off YouTube, uh, sorry, off Spotify in the highest quality possible, which I think is just 320 kilobits a second uh, audio files, just MP3 files, but it's nothing too crazy. Again, I would rather just have a nice system. I'd, I'm personally more focused on listening to nice music than to have super nice sound. I'd rather sit down and go, this is a really nice song as opposed to, you know, oh, that tweet is a bit crisp. I need to change that up or something like that. So I'd rather not be super focused on just listening to the audio quality, but more the song, because the moment you focus completely on the audio quality, you won't enjoy anything until you have stupidly expensive speakers. And that's just my opinion. So I do just run an iPad that's constantly plugged into the auxiliary input with a 3.5 mil and constantly plugged into the power. And I normally run it on airplane mode at nighttime uh, or whenever I'm just listening to music just to prevent any feedback from being picked up through, you know, it receiving Wi-Fi signal and things like that that it could possibly pick up. But that's pretty much it. That plugs into the auxiliary input of the Kenwood amplifier there, which runs in or runs its subwoofer output, uh, which is a single RCA. And that has a splitter, which goes one to each sub. Again, I rarely use the subs. and I just use the Dayton's for the most part. So what I'm gonna do now is just chill, uh, stick on some nice songs for you guys. I'll just play two songs, I'll play 30 seconds of two songs, just some 
chill music and I'll just give you guys a little sound demonstration of what it sounds like in this room. Uh, it sounds significantly better than my other room with the acoustic foam in here so let's give that a listen. But as far as my bedroom goes, it's pretty blank other than that. I have my bed, a fan, clock radio, uh, a wireless charger over there and then this system here and that's pretty much it. Acoustic foam front and back and a to-do board here which has absolutely nothing on it. <laughs> and my shipping board which has my lens that I'm still waiting for it to arrive. I ordered a 17 to 55 Canon lens which is an f2.8 constant aperture and it's gonna be absolutely awesome for low light shooting like this because my bedroom it's actually really well lit uh, compared to my other room. Uh, I can actually have my ISO at about 640 right now with f3.5 at 60, um, the shutter speed of a 60th of a second because I shoot in 60 frames a second, uh, which is good without any lighting but in the other room I still, with lights, have to run about a thousand ISO, which is not too high, but it's not as high. I'd like it to be lower. Anyway, let's do a sound demo so you guys can hear what the Dayton sound like. So I'll only use them because that's what I only use for the most part. So let's see what they sound like. Alright, so there it is, another quick look and demo of my bedroom system. For those of you who are asking for it, there it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to chuck a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel down there if you haven't already. And uh, let me know which one is your favorite system, whether you'd rather have this system in here or the other system. Let me know in the comment section down below. With that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in my next video.